beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. Believe, there is good out there. We oppose deception. Conjuit closing. From Chief of Operations to all governments, militaries and citizens of Earth. Subject. The Dark Fleet and the Draco Reptilians. This is an official SSP Alliance release. To combat counterintelligence campaigns against the secret space program topic, we are releasing a series of briefings, straight from our highest ranking officers without intermediaries. We strongly recommend that you disregard information regarding the secret space program that is not coming directly from us. The disclosures we have brought forward have been compromised. Fake secret space program veterans, super soldier imposters and ET contactees have released considerable misinformation. To keep humanity from fighting for freedom, with a false sense of security, they are peddling the narrative that the Mars colonies, Moon and Antarctica bases, have been liberated from the grey alien and reptilian forces. In our last briefing, we described the liberation of Mika's planet from the AI God and the Orion group and the similar events occurring on Earth. We emphasize that the liberation of Earth will only happen through our actions and on our terms. We are our own saviors. In this briefing, we will focus on the Dark Fleet and the Draco Reptilians. We are working with SSP Alliance Council members to release the actual program name of the Dark Fleet SSP faction. As Good first reported in 2015, Dark Fleet was the Alliance's name assigned to this program to identify and discredit individuals predicted to emerge with testimonies mirrored to hijack Good's public narrative. We are also working with SSP Alliance Council to release the entire database on the Dark Fleet and its allies, leaked to Sigmund by defectors from this Dark program. The ICC used the database information as an excuse to lock down our solar system to cover their involvement with the Dark Fleet. The Dark Fleet compartmentalizes its missions within the five secret space programs discussed in our first briefing, to the point that its participants cannot know the purpose and implications of their activities. Its infrastructure is spread throughout our galaxy and entirely autonomous, which allows them to operate outside the other SSP's purview. The Dark Fleet is a highly advanced warlike secretive space fleet, responsible for all offensive interplanetary organized crime operations. They act almost exclusively outside our solar system and work alongside the Draco Alliance, the humanoid reptilian extraterrestrial forces. The Dark Fleet has multiple bases within our solar system, including one on the moon, away from the Lunar Operations Command, shaped like a pyramid with its top removed. This base was the location for the Intruder Intercept and Interrogation Program, which operated like the Men in Black, by locating and intercepting non-humans that came into our solar system or planet, without permission. The Dark Fleet operated secretly from this base under a known program, hiding the vast cryogenic prison where hundreds of species were held against the cosmic law. There is another base in the Oort Cloud, a giant spherical shell surrounding the Sun, planets, and Kuiper Belt, where different groups, including the Alliance, have bases on the Moon-sized spheres. The Dark Fleet infiltrates other SSP bases and infrastructure within our solar system that the ICC controls. The Dark Fleet is one of the SSPs equipped with the most advanced technologies, with approximately 4,000 super-advanced ships. Their craft is unlike other SSP crafts and technology. Some ships resemble a wedge-shaped Star Wars destroyer, but are sleeker, while others have diamond or pumpkin seed shapes. The ICC helped the Dark Fleet build these advanced vessels and weapon systems, with slave labor in their factory on Mars. At the same time, the Draco Reptilian Group enhanced their offensive capabilities, with advanced torsion field-creating technology. 
The same technology that can create a torsion field for travel through time and space, can be used to twist and crush the enemy craft, by manipulating the energy field around the craft. It is important to note that the majority of Draco reptilian craft is shaped like triangles and deltas. While the Dark Fleet ultimately answers to the ICC, they also work alongside the Draco. The Dark Fleet infrastructure, fleet, and craft are controlled and commanded by off-Earth humans, all in service to the AI God. Historically, the Dark Fleet assets come from Illuminati or secret Earth government syndicates and off-planet colonies. It is important to emphasize that the Dark Fleet does not select people from Earth to work in a 20 and back program, for operational security reasons. While in the past, a minority was drafted from Milab programs, most are genetically bred. Their duties are so dark and evil, that the Dark Fleet could not risk its Earth assets recover memories if back on Earth. Those who serve in the Dark Fleet are genetically bred and born into service on bases outside our solar system. They are born into the old religion, which has Orion group ties. A recruit born outside of their program is forced to convert to the old religion by taking an oath, sacrificing a human being, and accepting brain chip implants and nanite injections. Only a handful of higher-ranking operatives have been fortunate to escape from this lifetime commitment. Good talked about a group of Milabs that trained with him, called the Personality Metamorph Group. They were a group of highly talented intuitive empaths, who were extreme sociopaths and would form fake personalities, to manipulate and control, based on their intuitive insight. The Dark Fleet would groom metamorphs as assets, to utilize their talents to their full potential. Good described Dark Fleet officials as totalitarian, stern, and arrogant elitists, who wear all black stormtrooper-like clothes. Many of them have ancestors from the German secret society Nazi and Fourth Reich programs, or were born after the breakaway of our civilization, shortly after World War II. During World War II, the Germans who created and were part of the Thule Society, were willing to do anything to win the war and have complete control of the entire planet. This included selling their soul to the proverbial devil. They searched worldwide for artifacts with supernatural powers and sacred objects. They learned about energy manipulation, mind control, black magic, necromancy, alchemy, occultism, etc. They also sought out individuals with supernatural abilities and would kidnap sages, shamans, and psychics. The Germans found a group of women who studied and could connect to the Vril energy, universal energy. The leader of the Vril Society was Maria Orsic, who could facilitate extraterrestrial contact. They began to contact extraterrestrial and supernatural beings, who could help them win the war and dominate the world. Their first contact was with the Nordics of the Draco Federation, who introduced the Germans to the intermediaries of the Draco Federation. There is a wide range of different types of reptilian beings who are members of the Draco Alliance. The two that stand out are the insectoid-type beings and Nordic-type beings. Both are enslaved races, forced into servitude to the Draco Alliance. There is also a short-stature race, approximately four and a half to five feet tall, who look like small greys. Then there are the nine to more than fourteen feet tall Draco reptilians, with a social hive-like caste system. Their royalty controls the entire Draco reptilian population and castes, including warriors, scientists, engineers, etc. Corey described his unpleasant and unforgettable encounter with one of the royal white Draco reptilians in April 2016 that left him and Gonzalez with headaches for three days due to Draco's mind control capabilities. The Draco Federation's first directive to the Germans was to publicly lose the war, as a tactic to have the rest of the world feel liberated and become complacent. At the same time, they gained total control from the shadows, with the help of the AI's ability to predict future events. The German elite abandoned their troops and moved with representatives of the Draco Federation to Antarctica, to establish a base and the Fourth Reich. 
With World War II publicly lost, German companies and industries developed infrastructure of multinational companies worldwide, infiltrating all countries, including the U.S. Project Paperclip, was specifically created to gain dominance of the USA from inside the country. Subsequently, the Germans built their first base off planet Earth on our moon, which we now call the Lunar Operations Command, or LOC. The ICC was later created by corporations influenced by the Fourth Reich to develop and control colonies, factories, and infrastructure within and outside our solar system. After they expanded their operation to Mars, where they created slave colonies, they built several planetary and moon bases throughout the solar system. Inside our solar system, the Dark Fleet did not openly have many bases or assets. The ICC assisted the Dark Fleet to hide their presence within the other programs and operated within them, like the Hydra organization from the movies, to supply the Orion group every year with hundreds of thousands of abducted Earth humans. The abductees are traded for technology and biological samples from other star systems and as a food source for the Orion group. As the Germans expanded their operations off Earth, they began to develop their secret space programs to work with Draco in military missions to conquer other planets and other solar systems. This is how the Dark Fleet was born. The Dark Fleet has two primary mandates. One to assist the ICC with the galactic slave trade and carry out their commerce projects, with ET races banned by the Super Federation. 2. To assist the Draco Reptilians and their fleet in military conquests of other solar systems within our galaxy. The recent SSP Alliance disclosures have remained consistent with Good's information he released anonymously from 2009 to 2014 and publicly since 2014. Our attempts to disseminate the Dark Fleet databases and other important information for the past year have been blocked by the AI network, named The Beast. The Beast is an advanced quantum computing network that a three-letter agency began building in the 1980s and continuously upgrades. We have learned a lot of new information about the Dark Fleet's operations and will be sharing updated perspectives and information gleaned from Sigmund's databases. Again, we must emphasize that we must step up, do our own inner work, and save ourselves by creating our own solutions to these problems. The Sphere Being Alliance and the New Guardians are not here to save us. Their purpose is to oversee cosmic cycles of every star system where conscious entities are on the ascension path. Our briefings and updates serve as part of the accelerated data dumps, which educate people about the crimes against humanity, secret Earth government syndicates, and SSP groups and their allies. Dark Fleet leadership and the ICC will stand trial in front of representatives of the worlds they helped victimize when all is said and done. In our next briefing, we will describe the Global Galactic League of Nations, Declaration of Independence from the ICC, and Associated Earth Governments. Be patient, be strong. We are in this together. This is Corey Good, and this has been an official Secret Space Program Alliance update. For more updates, go to ascensionworks.tv.